No one likes to be around negative people. After a while, it's just fatiguing and it drains you. So what we tried to do is come up with tools that you can use, not only at home but at work and perhaps with your associates if you manage people or children, using a positive attitude to improve your life. Before you think this is a bunch of nonsense, there's something really to this. The positive psychology and power in promoting positively in the positively uh, positivity, I should say, in the workplace and with children is a key ingredient toward, I think, a useful society. To talk about it is children's author Emily Medill, a contributor to the Mark Bernier program. She joins us live today on WNDB. Uh, Emily, thanks for being with us. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me again. Okay, so how did you come into contact to know Sean Aker, who's an educator and author? Uh, he's done 20 highly viewed TED Talks. How did you find out about him? Well, actually, um, it was a parent at my son's school. She had approached um, the school and the administrators. Um, Sean Acor has this amazing 21-day challenge that you can, a happiness challenge that you can um, implement at home or in your workplace or in schools. And so she brought it to our school to um, see if we could implement it with the kids and the teachers and the community there. And so that's something we've just started for the month of February. So... Um, I checked him out and just um, immediately fell in love with all the principles. You know, it's a lot of how I view life and how I live my life. So it was just really awesome to see the science behind it. I want to jump right to the five habits to choose from because I know you tried one of them on me. The three gratitudes. Let's talk about (laughs) each of these. Go ahead. Okay, so um, he basically, you know, developed this 21-day challenge, and then you pick one of the five researched habits, and you try it out for 21 days in a row. So the three gratitudes is basically um, you, you know, pause to take note of three new things in your day that you're grateful for. So you could either write that down, or if you, you know, have a small child, you could just say, you know, even at the dinner table, what are three things that you're grateful for? So basically what that does scientifically is it helps to start retraining your brain and the pattern of how it scans the world. So you begin over time after doing this, you begin to start, you know, scanning the world to see more positive. So, you know, research, this one is kind of my favorite one. Um, Research has shown that it, you know, using gratitude over time, it shows changes in neural pathways in the brain and um, and we become better at finding the things that are positive in our environments and you know that's just like the snowball effect forward so um, yeah so that's the three gratitudes and then did you want me to move on with the well, next I, one? I wanna, well here's what I wanted to ask you before people start yeah. thinking this is fluff and they start tuning out it really does mean something because something I read Emily and I think you might have brought it to my attention in an earlier broadcast that you can start to spiral out of control if you focus on the negative consistently and you don't stop to reaffirm positives or things that you're grateful for. You, you really start poisoning yourself and you poison the atmosphere that you're around other people. Can you speak to that? Am I anywhere near the reality on this? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, maybe there's some people kind of think, ah, oh, positive, you know, thinking that it's just, I mean, this is positive psychology. It's a little bit different. Like, it's not just about... Um, especially in Sean Acor's research, it's not just about thinking positive thoughts. Of course, that's a part of it, but it's actually linking um, your mindset change with a behavioral change. And so, you know, when we make those behavioral changes over, and he's researched it over a 21-day period, it actually does, it trains our brains to feel more happiness in the moment and it's really you know that's sort of what it's about it's you know his research looks at the connection between happiness and success and we've kind of had it all wrong for a long time like it you know a lot of people think that it's our external world you know once I get that job once I get that promotion once I get the ideal relationship you know then I'm going to experience happiness when in fact that isn't the case you know um, his research shows that you know happiness occurs before it's a precursor to you know to having success so you know there is a lot of science behind it and I guess you know that's the interesting part you know he did a study at Harvard University um, and he he went to school there and you know taught there and studied there with 1600 students and you know looked at what causes some of them to rise to the top and you know really 
studied this theory with these students. And so basically when they received their admission letter Mark getting into the university, they were ecstatic, they were thrilled, they were happy, as you can imagine. And, you know, what he looked at is at about two to three weeks into the semester, um, many of them started to lose that really amazing energy and, you know, that that happiness. And because what happened and what the studies show is that they started focusing, their brains started focusing on the stress, the workload, the competition, how hard it was. And so the more they became stressed and negative, the more their success rate actually decreased. Mm -hmm. And so this study has been you know, that it's the science behind it and it's really, you know, he goes into different workplaces because it really is something we can implement in parenting, in workplaces, and, you know, in our lives. Like, it's, you know, it is really powerful, and it's quite simple to do. All right, let me move to the others. Uh, we want to cover journaling. We've talked about that in an earlier broadcast, but here yeah. we're talking about journaling about one positive experience. Yeah, and the idea here is, you know, if you write down one positive thing, it allows your brain to relive it. So you're kind of writing down that memory in lieu of, you know, the negative or embarrassing things that, you know, happen all day long to us. So, um, yeah, it's just really about training your brain. All right. Exercise. And you're an exercise person. You're saying exercise for what, 10 minutes a day? At well, least. this is what um, Sean Acor's um, challenge includes. Um, he says for 10 minutes a day. I mean, a lot of people will do it more. You know, for myself, I would do it more. But... For people just developing this habit, um, you know, he says that exercising for 10 minutes a day not only brings about the physical benefits, but the point here is that it teaches your brain to believe that your behavior matters. And then you carry that, you know, mindset and, you know, you kind of train your neural pathways and you bring that into your activities throughout the day. So it's just 10 minutes a day as a part of this 21 day challenge. All right, meditation, you do this as well. He says take just two minutes a day to breathe and focus. What are you focusing on, Emily? Uh, well, you're just focusing on your breath, really. It's just about being present in the moment before you. And so um, I. No, with me, I'll end up hyperventilating. <laughs> it's I'm just sorry. two minutes, Mark. Come okay. On. <laughs> no, and he says it was funny because I listened to him do an interview and, um, you know, because a lot of people ask him like why not longer like one to two minutes that yeah. hardly seems you know like a lot but he just said you know that's something that's really doable and for a lot of people because you know they may start hyperventilating or you know it's just we're sensory overloaded so when they actually sit down to have those quiet moments like their brains can just race and it's and it, it just becomes kind of like a defeating uh, exercise which is not the point of it but for one to two minutes if you just kind of you know, focus on breathing in and breathing out. Like, it's just that simple. So it's just about being present and giving your mind a chance to focus. Okay, we're gonna. I want to talk yeah. about random acts of kindness, and we're going to go to a quick break, come back and finish okay. this. But on the random acts of kindness, you're saying do things, well, he's saying, Sean's suggesting maybe even do a positive email to praise or thank someone. Yeah, I mean, and random acts of kindness is something we do at our house, and, you know, I've heard a lot about it and it's something we implement but a lot of times um, people might think they have to go buy big gifts or flowers but this is just something as simple as sending a nice message to your coworker, and you know it's something we really can do like we have the time to do that and um, what he says is it not only benefits the recipient but it also increases the person who wrote it you know feeling of social support because generally you'll get something back and it just kind of really increases that sense of um, social connection you know which you and I have talked about Okay. Too. So, yeah. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Come back more with author Emily Medill. We're talking about the 21 day happiness challenge, but things that you can do in your daily life to improve your own situation at work as well as at home. Along with Emily Medill, and we've been talking about the 21 day positive attitude challenge. Emily has written several books, including Grateful Jake and the Grateful Jake Resource Guide. Emily, this whole positive thought idea to to change behavior, was that what was on your mind when you first began your own book series for children? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I wanted to have resources and to kind of speak that would reach them and, and you know, kind of teach them at a young age to develop really these habits to move forward so that they can be more successful, um, you know, as they grow. That was, you know, really the heart of it for me. 
Tell folks who are hearing you perhaps for the first time or have not sampled the books, which are all available through your website and through Amazon.com, what was the, the secret or what was the, the focus behind the Captain Joe series? Well, the Captain Joe series is really just all about, um, it is kind of, you know, it wasn't really meaning to be, but it is based on positive psychology. It's about children um, being conscious of their thoughts and their attitudes and, you know, their beliefs and shaping them and to really take ownership over over what they think and, and how they are in the world and to really just embrace, you know, their own unique traits so um, in it there's a thought zapping wand actually and it's it's um, just a tool to get kids used to thinking about the different thoughts that we have because we all have positive thoughts and we have thoughts that aren't positive you know they're happening all day long so um, it's a it's a fun you know it's a fun series and it's um, meant to be Okay. You know, implemented with parents or educators so. and, and there's precious seconds left there's Sam's magic mirror what does that do uh, well, Sam's Magic Mirror is really about living authentically in, in, in the moment, and that, that book is uh, geared for girls, and it's really about um, embracing, you know, her passions and her, her uniqueness to find her way. It's really about authenticity and, you know, just showing up as who you are and being proud of that. All right. EmilyMedill.com is the website where you can learn more. There's also a blog that Emily does, and I believe it is weekly. Am I correct? Yeah, I update it regularly, and it's all based on, it's geared for adults, and it's, yeah, it's kind of around this whole um, okay. just empowering type there we go. topic as well. Uh, fighting the clock. Emily, we'll talk soon. Thanks so much for being with us today. Okay, thanks, Mark, for having me.